We got a tip off from an anonymous source that Cora says that is reliable. But apparently, uh, Neva and uh, Jazz have been cooking up some sort of prototype ship under the nose of Crimson Fleet, which, I mean, can you, what do you expect? Neva's cutthroat. So apparently it's parked somewhere around this facility. It seems to be crawling with enemies. We landed a couple of miles. Thankfully the dust storm has covered our approach, so go and check it out. I mean, you see anything? This is supposed to be some re revolutionary. Oh, I just broke my kneecaps. Oh yeah, that's Crimson Fleet, all right. All right, we're gonna go take him out, nice and quiet. There's a lot more than a handful of Crimson Fleet. You said a handful. I think we've wiped out about a hundred Crimson Fleet. Yeah. Oh. That one's dead. Gary's uh, experimenting with cloak tech again. Oh, there, there she is. Hello, beautiful. How do we get out to it? All right, someone find me a door. Right. When I said find me a door, <coughs> this isn't what I meant. We don't really have time, so let's uh, pray my knees don't give in. Oh, they didn't give in. Nice. Let's grab the ship and get the hell out of Dodge. Does it look like something Crimson Fleet would make? But I am not going to judge. Alright, we got a standard Strat Eklund Bridge. I can work with that. Take this baby off and uh, pray to God that Crimson Fleet don't have trackers on it. Alright. Ready for launch, guys? Hit it. And welcome back. Hope you like a little intro. So today we have a Can we not check the flight plan before we start a recording? Also Gary's invisible. I uh, didn't reach really to start my game. So today we got a custom build uh, created by yours truly. Um, I made this on stream a couple of weeks ago and I really really like it. <clears throat> so we're gonna really quickly um okay so the kind of the premise behind it as the kind of the little the kind of little uh mini clip at the start is that it's it's a vessel that's been custom made by crimson fleet to act as a sort of a, a heavy fighter slash raider that looks unique enough to wear it's kind of their own custom design so jazz got to work basically all of the, the you know the various ships they've stolen they've cut parts off and stuck them on it's prop uh, propelled by two c-class engines to give it a kind of a cool little uh i don't know sleek design it's quite quite uh quite short it's two blocks tall technically or two two tall Obviously, the engines are three, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, now, it, I do use mods uh, to build this. I will have them linked in the description, but there's three mods I use, technically four. Uh, the first mod, which I recommend for anyone who is doing any shipbuilding at all, is Sadir's The Art of Merging. Um, or I think that's the term. Again, I'll have the link in the description. It's basically a mod that adds a tablet into the game that allows you to adjust the tolerance so that at max tolerance you can place objects inside of other objects so basically merging <clears throat> but better i also have uh three mods by rooks i have the better ship flip parts and the better ship snap mod and then the um the menu that is required to run them that's all i have with this ship 
so yeah let's uh let's we'll take a look at it interior wise and then we'll uh we'll do a kind of a breakdown it's been a while since i've done like a proper build so. So it is very initially i was kind of like i didn't really know because i built the ship and i liked the idea of like the marauder and i was trying to like think of like what faction could i give it to just for a bit of lore and then i decided you know why not the crimson fleet i don't really like the crimson fleet i'm a good guy but i feel like a lot of people would appreciate it i mean is squatting what up so we've got an armory here by the entrance way i kind of went with that just because pew pew and then if we go up one floor, we just have a computer core. Because I feel like... Oh, excuse me. Am I stuck? Ah, shit. No, we're good. Go with the computer core. Just because I feel like a lot of ships I'm using... I'm, everyone uses the control station. And I just went with the computer core because it looks a lot cooler. I just imagine that it's... It's like this is like, you know, got all of the data for the various trade routes and stuff. Like the ship IDs. And then obviously... I went with the, this bridge. Now, initially, if you watch the original stream, my ship, it, this ship may look a little bit different. The original version um, had a... Oh, there is some slight merging there, but that's not... I, maybe, that might bother you. It doesn't really bother me. Hey, how's no. day, Captain? Um, it's fine. <clears throat> but the original vessel, it um, I was using another mod because... The thing is, is, I don't want to use too many mods with these kind of ship builds just because I feel like if I, you know, like, oh, if you want to build this ship, you need 10 different mods. It's kind of a bit extreme. I know you're, I'm saying that, but, like, the Rooks mods are, well, yeah, they're there, but they're kind of awesome. They're pretty much vanilla. But yeah, so originally I had a, um, I had the, um, Viking CP cockpit. Or was it the Viking CP? So basically the cockpit that sits on top of a hab. And it looked, um, it looked more kind of menacing almost. But in order to have that there, I had to use a mod called All-in-One um, Ship Mod, which I've covered that basically gives you like a load of different halves and stuff. Uh, um, a load of different like entrance bays and all that. And yeah, so originally I had like a different entrance bay, but this is pretty much vanilla. Obviously it's using mod, but yeah. So let's go, uh, let's go. We're going to do a breakdown. I'm gonna try not to, not to headbutt the wall because I remember building this was tricky. So yeah, obviously the first thing you're gonna do if you have the um, which I would recommend downloading the um, the art of merging the mod by steer link in the description. Uh, you have to go to the over to Jameson Mercantile up there. Where is it? Jameson Mercantile. And then in the note section, there will be the Art of Merging. If she's not selling it, just go outside and wait uh, 24 hours and go back in. And then, basically, whenever I start building, it's a must-have. I know Bethesda added Merging back in, but they only kind of half-added it. <clears throat> you still can't do drop-downs, and Steer's mod is just more useful. You just click it. Pop up. And I always set the tolerance to... Okay. The cool thing about this mod is it doesn't actually change anything in the game in terms of, like, once you, like, and quit the game and come back in, everything is back to vanilla. So, like, there's no lasting effects. If you want to merge again, you have to just open it. So I'm going to really quickly tear the ship down, then we'll kind of go through the parts. All right, so this is going to be a bit bit funky than my usual because I haven't done this in a while. So I've kind of split this ship up into a couple of sections. So we got the main body, which isn't too tricky to build. And then we've got the two engine pods slash weapon pods. Um... We'll kind of get to in a minute. So we have it's I'll, I'll basically divided into two sections for you guys. Um, now, one thing I did notice when I was building this, uh, oh, come here, you, is there is two those pieces that are glitched in um, the ones inside. You don't actually need them. So these, you'll see them here. So I'll show you real quick. So initially, I had them here because I had a different cockpit. Get rid of them. So on the bottom here, we have the shipbed landing bay 200 from Tayo, and then we've got two demo spine Ds, starboard four and port four. So these, if you if you ever see these, these are basically the spine pieces, but with the uh, better flip mod, you can flip them sideways. So I flip these sideways. And we have the Shroud Armory. And we have four Deimos Cowlings. Port bottom and starboard bottom again. 
these pieces they'll look familiar they the default look like this we've just flipped them sideways then at the back here we've got two Deimos spine e's port aft starboard aft they're also flipped sideways and then a Deimos cowling aft bottom we have the sgd 3300 grab drive from slain aerospace c class 11 power 45 thrust and then we also have uh this fuser dc 403 reactor from deep core c class 38 power um 1190 hole this is merged inside so all you're going to want to do with with Sadir's mod you're just going to bring it in put it anywhere there select all and it'll snap into place on the top level here we have our viking cp 1100 cockpit from stroud eklund 20 cargo we've got two of these demos spine a's at the site then we have a stroud computer core 2x1 and we have four spine b's two port two starboard well, uh, two spine Ds, one starboard, one port, and then we have this little kind of design. So what it is basically is two Tayo mid caps, one port, one starboard. You just snap one in, and then the other one will snap in on top of it. We've got a turret on top, or equipment plate on top, with a Reza uh, one or ten PHC pulse laser from Shinigami B class, thirteen hundred range, five fire rate, eleven or uh, thirty nine shield damage, and four power. And then the shield generator is merged underneath, so it would sit here like so. As the Assurance SG-800 shield generator. Um, and then we have the Deimos cowling on the back. So in order to kind of slot these in, what we're going to do is it's just going to slot in like so. And then we bring this bad boy here. here. Now the one thing I will say, if you're, you're using this mod for the first time, the uh, better snap, there is a lot of snap points. So you have to be careful where you're snapping them. So see, like this one, a bit finicky, but we're going to drop it down. Go. And the other one, we... Nope. I mean, a bit closer, we're just going to drop that down. So when you're when you're kind of placing these, you got to... Basically, what you want to do is... So I like to duplicate it. And then you, you want to drop it down kind of like there, but you don't want to drop it too fully so it snaps to something else. So I have it there. Highlight all. It should snap. There you go. It snapped to the right point. Perfect. And then we put our uh, equipment plate like so. Now next we're going to focus on the engine pods. The engine pods, I don't think they're too tricky. This build was initially, there was a... I think I came up with a, 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 I think, yeah, this was a Discord build-off where the Better Ship Parts mod, which you can see here, it adds a load of decorative items that are just purely for decorative. But one of the things it added was decorative grab drives and decorative reactors, which are really cool. They don't do anything, they're just for decorative. And I wanted to basically make use of decorative grab drives for this build, so... We'll start off at the back here. We've got an Amandon X300 engine from Amandon, C-Class 3 power. And then what we have is we have two of these Relodyne uh, Alpha Grav Drives, the decorative ones. One facing forward and one facing backwards, like here. Now, obviously, there is an actual Grav Drive in it. On the other side, I believe, one of these is an actual... Oh, no, one of them isn't. Oh, an idiot. Grav Drives at the back, never mind. <clears throat> So once they are there, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to attach... Um, oh, we've got Atlas. Now remember, when you're building this, you're going to be building two when you're going to be mirroring them. An Atlas, H10, Helium-3 tank. And then we grab this, and this is going to basically sit in like so. Make sure, is it off-center? No, it's not off-center. So this, this piece is basically going to snap. This piece here is going to snap the engine. Just slap it in like that. Highlight all. Don't think that was in the spot. No, it's not. Okay. I don't actually think it snaps the engine now that I'm thinking of it. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So before we put these in, we've got these two little. I'm gonna attach these bracers, two of them. What is inside that? Oh nothing. Okay, so you have to attach two bracers like so. And then once those bracers are in position, you're going to snap these to the bracers. And there they go. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And then you're going to attach the other bracer. It's going to snap in like so. 
And then on the side here, <clears throat> so what we have here is we have show you real quick. So we have a demo spine A port aft that's facing backwards. And then you have a Mark MKE9A auto Gauss gun from List Solutions, like so. And then we're going to slap this bad boy, this equipment plate here on the bracer. And then our second of our third turret. Now this is where it gets a bit finicky. Um, so I'm going to pull this one over just so I... Because when I was building this first, there is... It's, it's kind of tricky. So it's made up of a couple of parts. So we've got two of these <clears throat> demo skeg A's. And then we have two of these Deimos spine A's with weapons on them, like so. Um, and then we have this little Nova mini bracer. So the way I got this to work is I put the mini bracer down first. And then you want to snap the weapons on the Nova bracer. Yeah, so you want to snap the, the weapons on the Nova bracers, so... Ideally, what because you'll notice that basically the way this is going to work is one of them is going to snap like that, and then the other one is going to kind of snap to it. Um, so I'm going to do that like so. And then the skegs would snap to this piece where it gets a bit tricky. Oh, the skeg doesn't actually have to interest Just basically trying to remember how to build it. These these pieces, so as you see here, the two skegs connect to the mini bracer. The mini bracer is is part of the uh, vanilla mod. It, if you go to structural and you go down to the normal bracer, there's the mini bracer. Which... And then I believe it's just a case of snapping that in there and then selecting all. Yeah, let's go. And then we're gonna snap the other one in there. Like so now. Now one of the things you'll notice is so when you when you build this, it can be a bit finicky. Tiny bit finicky. But now that it's all connected, you wanna you'll see that it snaps in. So what's basically the piece that you want to snap, you wanna be careful here because I try to line it up as perfectly as possible. So you'll notice that I try to have this skeg is like almost flush, but not exactly flush. So what we're trying to snap is we're trying to get this skeg snap point here with this snap point here. So we're going to select it and you see, is it just, yep, yeah, that, that's it there, like so, perfect. And then that's basically how you do the engine. So now the engines are going to slot on pretty easily, so they're just going to slot in like that. As you can see, they'll want to automatically slot because there's a spot there. Um, so basically these these two bracers are going to connect essentially they're going to connect halfway do they connect halfway? hold the phone give me a second we'll be right back all right, so I just had to go double check. So yeah, so they're supposed to sit flush to here. So they'll try to slap down, but we don't want them to slap down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that point. There we go. That's what we want them. So we basically want them to snap to these top sections. So these two shrouds are going to snap to the computer core. And then we're going to just slot these in. <coughs> This will just sit there, perfect. And then that will sit there, and then same on the other side. And they're gonna go. Now we have these the landing gear. We've got these side pieces. So the landing gear is pretty easy to slot in. So basically the landing gear is gonna sit. You see here it's already snapping. So the landing gear is essentially snapping to the underside of underside of the uh, bracers. You see here, it just slots in nice and easy. And then we're going to duplicate it. We're going to do the same on the other side. They'll slot in nice and easy. 
<clears throat> and then we have these two Hope Tech pipes. These are going to slot in on top, like so. They're going to be... I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be... Yeah, yeah, so they're... It, ooh, ooh. These drop down a little bit just to add some, some kind of structure. Like some, some greebling, basically. And same on the other side. We're just going to slot them in and drop them down like so. Perfect. And then finally, we have four of these uh, radiators, starboard radiators. These just basically are going to sit underneath like so. And the whole kind of point of them is to extend the bottom section of the radiators out a little bit. So, I think it'll in like so what's our error planning bin needs to be aligned with the grid ah uh, yes so the reason they're dropped down is these these need to go down a little this is where it kind of was a bit you're gonna have to kind of fumble with them a bit all right there you go perfect so the just to confirm will that actually so yeah okay cool so these pieces just to make it kind of easier for you these four hope tech pipes they're going to snap to the cowling underneath so this one see it snaps there like so that one snaps to that one snaps to that one like so and then same again and then once they're there you can put in the landing gear i did that step prematurely so that way the landing gear then will snap to you don't want it to snap to the cowling you want it to snap to the the um or you want it to snap to the pipe so it's a bit bit finicky so i'm gonna see if i can make a jump yeah, perfect so all i did is i got it as close as possible and then let go of it like let go of it i let everything it'll drop down perfect and then the other one will just snap to the back where the fuck did that come from? Okay, fair enough. Again, we're just gonna get it all like you let it snap to the to the thing and then bring it back a little bit. And oh, I didn't want to go. This is one of the oh, we could drop down it too. That would actually work better. Crimson, you're an idiot. You always do things the wrong way. And then there we go. That is it. Now the color scheme, I'll highlight it all. It's pretty simple. So if we see the color scheme, so color A or color one is that it's all the way left, all the hue, all the way left, saturation, and then black. Color two, all the way left, hue, all the way right, saturation, <clears throat> and almost like almost to the right side of that second square on recent, and then Third one is all the way left to hue, and then the saturation and brightness are all the way to the right on that fourth square. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the build. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of got a cough, I suppose. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to do more builds, because I, I do, I will say, if you like watching me do builds, I do builds on stream almost every, well, I stream Friday and Saturday. And I almost always either start or end the stream with uh, with a build. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. And um, if you're interested in in kind of learning how to become a better builder, I suppose. Uh, obviously, you can watch my content. I've kind of gone over them. But also, you can join the uh, Starfield Anonymous Discord. We have a very active shipbuilding community, very active community in general. And uh, we have a shipbuilding section where you can basically check out all the cool ships and get tips and tricks. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.